The Fox and the Crow On a beautiful morning, a fox strolled around in the forest. In search of something to munch on, he spots a crow on a branch of a giant tree. A bite of cheese held by the crow in its beak catches the attention of the fox. In the first instance, the fox does not pay much attention, but when he looks at the crow for the second time, his cunning mind starts thinking of ideas for stealing the cheese bite. I need not wander any more to find my breakfast. Who wouldn't like a piece of yummy cheese? thinks the sly fox. He walks up to the foot of the trees and tries to strike a conversation with the crow. Good morning, you beautiful crow, said the fox in a pleasant voice. The crow looks at the fox suspiciously and tightens her grip on the cheese. She does not respond to fox's greetings. Fox continues to flatter the crow. He says, What a beautiful bird you are! Such silky and shiny feathers. You're a bird with spectacular wings. The crow falls for it. The fox notices a change in the crow's expression and tries to woo her one more time. This time, the fox flatters the crow by saying, Such a pretty crow must have a pleasant, soothing voice. Can I request? the queen of all birds, crow, to please sing a song for me? The initially skeptical crow now forgets all her suspicion and is flattered by the praise heaped on her by the fox. To utter her loudest caw, she opens her mouth big and wide. The cheese falls off the crow's beak straight down into the fox's open mouth. The fox cheekily thanks the crow and walks away, relishing on the cheese. Before leaving, he also mocks the crow by saying, Maybe you have a sweet voice, but where have you lost your wits? So, the moral of the story is, never fall for flattering words. Thank you!